And then you've got this class of plants that is producing these molecules that incredibly have the power to alter what goes on in the human mind. This plant, by making just such a molecule, has gotten us to spread it all over the world. Scientists call it cannabis. It is better known as marijuana. Cannabis recognized, metaphorically speaking, that this was its path to world domination. Produce more of this molecule, and there will be more marijuana plants given more habitat by this creature who likes what this molecule seems to do. And by trying to figure out just how that molecule works, scientists stumbled on an amazing discovery about the workings of our brains. This plant has opened up this very fruitful path of inquiry into understanding how memory works, how consciousness works, how emotion works. We have unlocked this whole mechanism, which we didn't know existed, and we would not know existed if not for this plant. Human beings are born with an innate drive to experience other states of consciousness periodically. I think you can see this in young kids who begin spinning at early ages. <laughs> Amusement park rides serve the same purpose. There's an endless stream of activities that, that can shift consciousness, everything from singing, dancing, having sex, jumping out of airplanes, uh, and, and drugs are clearly one way of getting these experiences. People like to have that altered consciousness. I'm not saying that's good, but it's uh, individuals seek it out. Marijuana seems to have made an evolutionary decision long ago that it was going to throw its lot in with human beings. From the plant's point of view, the psychoactivity is an attractive characteristic which has brought the plant great success. There's a lot more marijuana being grown today, and the reason is that humans like it. They like it because it gets them high.